So guys, saw to Dave. No saw to today. We talking about other stuff. All right. So uh, last week on the, I think Saturday I did the thumb stop knot on this thirty one. It worked. It's working out really well. I like it a lot. And uh, right now I got Steve's and Cosy. So I'll show you a little. It's pretty close to the same blade. I mean, you know what I mean. So a little side by side of what they look like thickness wise, maybe height wise too. You can kind of get a better idea what they kind of look like. <clears throat> uh, I already went over that mod in the last video, so you can check that one out if you want. But this one's pretty much about the Zon mod at this point. So here's the results of what I did with the Zon mod. And so basically what I looked at is, I think I told you guys before that uh, I saw somebody post that they did, changed the thumb studs on the blades over, only blades over 250 group, Facebook group. Um, and what they had done was basically remove the whole, st whole stock st uh, thumb stud and then screwed in another thumb stud. And I, I eventually he realized there was an issue with that and he made a new one. <clears throat> but in talking with him, and I'm sorry, dude, I forgot your name again. I really apologize. I should look this stuff up before I can start these videos, but I'm a dumbass, so I didn't. Um, and talking with him, it sounded like it was a, a definite taper in this pin. And, and to alleviate the need, so if you look up right here where it's hitting, back in here, you can see the little witness marks on both sides where the pin's making contact. And the pin, because of the way the O-ring's groove was and then the, the little bell at the top of it, that part was never even hitting the... Uh, the titanium frame so what i thought was a better idea rather than to and i'm gonna put this down so i don't drop it um a better idea was to tap it and then make some thun studs for it so i'm gonna unscrew this all and it'll make sense in a second here so basically what i did was just come on with an end mill i, I just held this pin while transversely holding it down this side but with a 5c call it and a call it closer and i just milled off the top of it found center Drilled and tapped through it and tapped at 256. So you can see this little stud I made basically to, this, this is the stock thumb stud without those O-ring grooves on the top of it. So this is still gonna be in the exact same spot when it hits this frame back over here as it was stock. And then I just took these tie connector thumb studs and I had to actually face these down and I faced them down about 50 thou. So they're about 130 thou thick now. So that basically they're close to the same height as what the stock ones were. Uh, but what that does give you is a little more area and a little more traction. So these are a pain in the ass because they're so small and my hands are so big to get these things started right and to get them on there right. So I'm going to try to get it back on so you guys can see it again. But um, there we go. Uh, it's pretty simple mod, really. If you got machine tool experience or have the ability to do this at your house, I don't know how more accurate you can be. If you could be accurate enough to, to do it, you know, obviously... I did it much more precision manner and I'm happy with how it came out. Now, when you choose your thumb stud from the tie connector, if you look up the sizes, and this is not screwing back in all the way because I don't know if I can get enough traction. Well, there it goes. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you can see that the, the diameter of that came out pretty close, right? <clears throat> so basically, and I can't remember what size of what, uh, one side was like, it measured uh, 221 thousandths, the other side was like 115 thousandths, roughly. I'm just guessing because I can't remember if this is Monday and today's Thursday, so I've measured too many things since then. Um, but I do remember that these thumb studs were like 217 or 216 or somewhere in, somewhere around that area. So one side was slightly, I mean, just like one thou or one and a half thou. And if you think about diameter, that's half of that. So less than a thou bigger radius for hitting this titanium frame and it's soft this is titanium or actually these are zirc i'm sorry these are zirc zirconium zirc's pretty soft um so when it contacts this titanium frame it's not like it's going to hurt anything and the other side is actually smaller than the stock stock pin so when you go to get your thumb studs check the diameter you don't want the 250 ones these are the 250s here let's see if you can see the difference in there it's slightly but i don't know if you can tell that this is a, actually a bigger diameter than what this is Maybe in the light you can. Um, just check your thumb stud size or be able to turn one of these down if you get the other size. So just get as long as you get the correct one. And then you could play with like how much you want it to stick out and that sort of thing. Um, what I found from this thumb stud. So this one, if you look at the angles this way, you can see this is much more of an acute tip than this one is. It's more on par with what that is. Not quite as acute as this, but it's still more acute than what this one is. I like this style much better. I had to do it all over again, and I might just do it anyhow. I might even make studs, or 
um, make some of the, turn some of these down and make these work for what I want. <clears throat> uh, so as it's sitting, uh, the thumb stud works great for the thumb deployment on this one. Um, the, the finger flick is okay. It's not the best because honestly, it's like when it comes down on this side of the frame, you can see that you got the thumb stud sticking up, but it's a, it's a skinny pointy thing. So you get that same kind of reaction like you kind of do, not quite to the same extent as you do on the, like, uh, um, the stock thumb studs where it's really pointy and while you can flick it, it's, it digs into your finger and it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. So what I've learned basically in all the process of a lot of the thumb studs I've done here is that this almost more flat taper with the grooves in it seems to work better for me. So like even on this EOS, like this is the stock thumb stud. I did put a bigger radius on it on the outside of it, but you know, I made that other one for this other side. Uh, it, it still doesn't have that feel to it like I want. So I'll probably re end up redoing these. And same with this direware. I left this one proud because I kind of figured it would. This is one of the first thumb stud mods I did. This is the stock and the thumb stud on this one. And this is titanium. Um, so I probably will eventually go back in there and uh, put a similar style uh, obtuse um, top to this thumb stud and probably take it in just a little bit too. I don't know. Um, but that's the thumb stud mod. So if anybody interested in the Zon thumb stud mod, that's, I think I've explained it good enough. Uh, if you get any questions, you can hit me up. Anyway, a little supplement video. Uh, first video on a new phone. I finally got a new phone, so hopefully it looks better and sounds better. All right, y'all. Later.